Hey everyone, <laughs> it has been such a long time since I've done a video, but I finally have carved out some time. I got sick for a little while there, just been really kind of preoccupied and didn't make time for it, but I'm here now. So, um, I have my empties bag here, my the Great, Sga the Great Gatsby bag, and it is so full, so I thought... I need to do this video. So these empties are from um, all of September <laughs> and we're about we're getting towards the end of October now so all pretty much all of it October. <clears throat> Excuse me so I'm just gonna grab in here randomly and pull stuff out. I honestly don't remember what was from when so let's just go. I actually finished this today is um, the Batiste Dry Shampoo and Floral Essences. I really like this. Um, Batiste really does a good job of absorbing oil for me. So I would repurchase. I like to get mine at TJ Maxx. Um, used up a baby body butter from the Body Shop and Cranberry. Really like this scent. Um, it doesn't smell like cranberries in the can, you know, that can jelly stuff, but it's really just a fruity almost sour scent and it, the sour sounds kind of weird but it's it's actually kind of nice um let's see i used up the body shop raspberry body butter this is my favorite scent that they do very very moisturizing and it smells delicious so if you like raspberry stuff this is for you oh another little baby cranberry <laughs> i went through a lot of body butters and i'm pretty sure there's more in there so Let's see, I used up a facial essence mask in the vitamin C formulation. These are by the brand FEL. Um, I think they're made in Korea, and I get mine at Big Lots for 2 or $3 for a little pack of them. So this was nice. Um, it's just a paper mask. You put it on, you look a little scary. <laughs> it's really funny, but it, um, it's a nice little treat for my skin. I do feel like it's hydrated. A little bit better afterwards. Um, I put honey in here I, just because I wanted to mention um, this is from Food Lion, their grade A honey. Um, I really enjoy honey for my tea when I drink it so just want to put that out there. Always put a little bit of honey in your tea so it doesn't dry out your throat. That's what I've been told. Mm. Excuse me, I'm still a little froggy from being sick. <laughs> So, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> let's see, this was an exciting empty. This was the Dead Sea Treatment Aloe Vera Eye Cream. And I got this from TJ Maxx, and this lasted me, I mean, I got this way, way months ago, and it's probably lasted me almost a year. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx, and it is all gone. It was a white cream, and it was just really nice. It hydrated my eyes. I, it didn't sting, so that was nice. Um, I kind of want to try some other stuff from their brand. I saw at TJ Maxx the other day, they had a face wash, but I wasn't, I don't know, I just didn't get it. I'm a little nervous about trying stuff like that, but I don't know why I didn't try it. Anyway, let's see, Neutrogena Oil-Free, uh, their Biphase Liquid Eye Makeup Remover. Really love this stuff. Um, it gets the job done. Here is, <laughs> I cut it up and so now the Containers all short because I stacked it, but oh. <laughs> it's the H2O brand um, body lotion in apricot peach. Yeah, and this smells really good. This was something I'd been trying to use up. Um, the scent got kind of old after a while. I don't think I would repurchase it, but it was nice while it lasted. Um, these are the Almay Oil Free Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I got these as a free gift. Um, with an Almay eye makeup purchase at Ulta. Um, they were okay. I wouldn't purchase these um, on their own. It's just not my type of thing. See so, yeah, a body wash. I do remember in October, um, that was like the month of body washes for me. So there are several body washes in here just from October. This is the White Rain um, body wash that came in that little line that they had there that was kind of packaged like this. I did not like this. It kind of smelled a little, just like chemically, like almost like a cleaner. And 
I feel like it dried out my skin and I feel like you even at the Dollar Tree you could put your doll at a better use for you so I would not repurchase that. Let's see I used the Body Shop Aloe Calming Toner. So it's just a liquid toner to use after you wash your face. I like this. It smelled kind of botanical. I don't know. It wasn't my favorite. I like to use my witch hazel but since I had it I used it up and it didn't irritate my skin. Here is, speaking of witch hazel, <laughs> um, the Dickinson's witch hazel I like to get at Walmart. I've always wanted to try the Thayer's um, witch hazel so if you've tried that and you like it let me know down below. I know that they make several uh, formulations of it, so tell me which one you like. Let's see, I see two little mini Satsuma body butters. <laughs> I really like this scent. Um, these were good body butters, you know. I like one of my loves. <clears throat> Let's see, the Batiste Dry Shampoo and Fruity and Cheeky Cherry. This was nice. I like this scent. And the packaging is so cute. Look at that. Those little cherries. And I think the color combination is cute. So I would repurchase that. Let's see. I used up some vitamins. I just wanted to put this in there. Like, I don't know why I threw that in there. It was empty. Calcium and vitamin D. When you take calcium, make sure you have vitamin D in it because it helps your body absorb it. Um, so on and so forth. Blah, blah, blah. That's not very entertaining. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Vitamin E Mini uh, Face Cleanser. This was nice. I used this when I went traveling, or I went overnight somewhere to see a friend. And I liked it then, and I just used it up after I opened it. And it was a nice creamy cleanser. I like to use it in the morning. Um, does not remove makeup for me. Uh, let's see, Lemon Body Butter from the Body Shop. I love this. It's a really clean, fresh uh, lemon scent. Not kitchen cleaner. Just like a nice citrusy lemon. Let's see, I used up a white rain face wash. I really like this um, from the Dollar Tree. Great. Um, pretty good at removing makeup. <clears throat> I used up the Sukin Detox Fine Clay Mask, uh, the Super Greens formulation. This was really nice. Just as a, a regular clay mask to kind of purge your pores and get it all clean. It smelled good. It smelled like, I guess like spinach <laughs> or whatever was in it. That might be a little strange, but it just smelled good to me. Let's see, um, a body shop <laughs> raspberry body wash. I could not get this little bit out of here. I don't know why, but um, I really love this scent. The bottle's all squished, but good body wash. I usually get these at TJ Maxx. I will get them again. I go through them pretty quickly though because they're a little bit smaller. Uh, let's see. Lemon Cupcake Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Body Wash. I use this as a body wash. Um, it smelled okay. It wasn't the most amazing lemon scent. It reminded me of the Bath & Body Works Summer Lemon Vanilla. But not quite. Not quite all the way. But it was nice while it lasted. I probably wouldn't repurchase it if you know, I tried it and got it out of my system. <clears throat> Let's see. I got this from Big Lots for like 90 cents. It's the Satin Care Passionista <laughs> Fruit Shave Gel. This was good. Uh, just a little baby size. It smelled good and it um, did what it needed to do to help me shave well. Let's see. This is the Mane and Tail Deep Moisturizing Shampoo. Um, really like this. It's good for getting your hair really clean if you have some buildup. But it's not too drying. So I would repurchase that. I usually get my Sally stuff either through Walmart or Sally's. And this is the conditioner. I didn't run out of them at the same time. I ran out of the conditioner first. <laughs> um, but this is the deep moisturizing conditioner. I really, really like this. Um, I tend not to use the same shampoo and conditioner in a line usually. Uh, unless I'm trying it out through, and I'm not familiar with the brand. But... This conditioner was really, really nice. I enjoyed that. I have two of the little My Little Pony Dollar Tree body washes. These are, look at this packaging. This is super cute. Um, it wasn't my favorite, but, you know, if you don't have a lot of money to um, put into getting, like, a body wash somewhere, this is, 
this will totally do or like kids would love this it was a nice sort of berry scent um you know just kind of regular um i ended up using one of them as like hand wash because i just didn't really enjoy it as body wash that much i felt like i don't know it just wasn't my favorite I probably wouldn't repurchase, but I think it'd be a great little stocking stuffer for a kid that loves My Little Pony. Um, let's see. Sea Booth. This is a shaving oil in the scent Mimosa Honeysuckle, and it's a shaving oil that you use to just instead of a shaving cream. This was good. I actually liked, I learned that I like using oils to um, help me shave. I feel like it kind of reduces the friction a little bit more. <clears throat> and it smelled really good so but I've been thinking about just using regular coconut oil to help me shave so I probably wouldn't repurchase but it was fun to try but I've never tried one before uh, let's see another body wash uh, the Brazil nut creamy body wash just smells like um, chocolate mixed with something maybe a little bit of caramel in there it smells so so good I would repurchase that very moisturizing too um, this is the, see if I can, oh. <laughs> it's still all squished. This is the Inspa Mango Body Wash from Walmart. Um, this is a UK brand, I think, and it smells so, so good. If you love mango scents, this is delicious. Um, it did feel really good on my skin, too. Very moisturizing. Around $5 in price, so for 16.9 fluid ounces, I think that's a good, pretty good value for your money. Um, I would recommend this. I would repurchase that. I'm trying to grab like more body wash. <laughs> Let's see, I have three. This is the old packaging of the body shop um, body wash I got from Burlington Coat Factory in a set. And this is the papaya and um, passion fruit. So all these, all three of these scents are really, really good. Like, how awkwardly can I hold these? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the set soon was just really nice citrus. The passion fruit was, um, it made me think of candy. I don't know why. And then the papaya was really good, too. Um, I don't think I'd go wrong with any of those. Um, let's see. I have an Herbal Essences Color Me Happy uh, shampoo. It's supposed to be good for color-treated hair. I don't have color-treated hair, but um, this came in a big set that had, like, all the rose-scented stuff. And I like the scent they do in this, so try it and... It was good. Just a regular shampoo. Uh, let's see. A whole bunch of like basic type stuff. So, Crest Pro Health Gum Protection Toothpaste. <laughs> Brush your teeth. What can I say? Um, Dollar Tree Cotton Swabs. Yep. Just a basic that I keep on hand. Some Harris Teeter um, Jumbo Plus Size Cotton Balls. You know, use them for stuff you use cotton balls for. And then three packs of the Assured uh, Cotton Rounds. I get these at Dollar Tree. I use these all the time for makeup removal and all that stuff. So, uh, let's see. I have an Act Total Care mouthwash. Just the mouthwash I always use. Um... Oh, I just want to put this in here to talk about it. This was something I really loved. The pumpkin spice brulee um, tea by Hava. Uh, my cousin sent me this, and it is so, so good. Like, if you like pumpkin stuff, or it's just so good. I, I can't say anything else about it. It's so easy to brew. It's got the directions on the back. It's just great for fall. Let's see. Two sample packs that came with an Ulta order. And I think these are the Hask. I cut off the top so I can't see anymore. But I think it's Hask. Um, Argan Oil Conditioner. It was pretty good. I wouldn't buy it. Just a sample I had. This video is kind of long. Sorry guys. Um, this is the Satsuma body scrub that came with that um, body wash that you just saw. This is really good. I like this. Um, I usually don't buy body scrubs on their own though. Just not one to do that. And then this is the um, OGX Coconut Water Shampoo. This smells really nice. I like how this is sort of a creamy light coconut. So, and it's fun packaging.
And now a little bit more exciting products. So some makeup products. I have my Milani Multitasker Powder in Light Medium Zero Two. And I used it all up. <laughs> I um, really like this. It's good as like a powder foundation almost. It's a good color match for me. Um, definitely repurchase. Let's see, I have two mascaras. The Ma Maybelline Mega Plush Volume and the Purple Plum or Plush Plum. And then the Almay Intense Eye Color, Eye Color Volumizing Mascara in the Blue Sapphire or something like that for blue eyes. Um, like this one a lot when repurchased, maybe in a different color. This one didn't really do a whole lot for my lashes. Um, the blue one did better, like the blue shade, but this one, I don't know. Just didn't do a whole lot for me. <clears throat> Let's see. A little bit more skincare. This is a sample of the Clinique um, face wash. This was good. Good for my removing makeup. It really gets rid of everything. And then... This is a tiny little baby aloe soothing, aloe soothing day cream by The Body Shop. It came in a little travel set with that little toner. This was good. I would not repurchase this. It had that same sort of smell. <laughs> and I'm sensitive to smell, so I would not repurchase that. And here's my Milani Shadow Stick I got from the Dollar Tree um, in Sand Dune. And it is so, so short. Look how short it is. It's all gone. Um, great eye makeup base. And I used up an Essence All About Matte um, powder. I use this to kind of touch up throughout the day and it helps really control shine. And it's super cheap, so great, great value for the money. Three more things. <laughs> um, let's see, I have a Bare Minerals Matte formulation of their um, powder foundation and Fairly Light. I feel like I need probably the lightest shade because it was a little bit dark for me <laughs> and I still enjoyed it and it was close enough that I could make it work. Um, I have other powder foundations I really enjoy more. That being said, right now they have a special packaging um, of their powder foundation in this beautiful um, gold and gold little container that looked beautiful on a vanity. It's got a little ruby in the middle I kind of want it, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> just because of that packaging. Oh, I'm such a sucker for packaging. Um, this is the Dr. Chart BB Cream Little Mini Sampler. Um, I forget which one this was, but it was nice. It covered well. My skin ate it, like, basically. <laughs> I'm so oily. But it was good for, you know, if I'm just going to go to the store really quickly. It had my SPF in there. Um... I didn't mind it at all. It was nice. SPF 40, so that's that's pretty decent. Um, would not purchase that full size. And then the last thing I I picked off the label just because I don't know why, but it's this is a L'Oreal um, day and night cream that I got from Walgreens I think for around seven dollars, and it was sort of a lavender type cream. I don't know why I smelled it, and it was just really nice. It. It really made my skin feel really soft and really, really, really. <laughs> Saying really a lot, but it was a nice product. I would repurchase that. I just have I have plenty of stuff to use right now, so I, I'm i not going to buy that right now. Um, this is a really long video, but thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, I'm clapping for you. Thank you so much. Um, so good to get up here and share with you guys again. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.